You're watching BCTV, Bethany College Television, at the home of the Bison. So I was wondering if after this... Uh, yeah, sure. love. Uh, maybe so many could... complications. Yeah. Including others that may get wow. in the way. Who are you? Three wow. is definitely a crowd. Terry told me. So and a play about your past relationship may not be the best way to win the girl. Oh, because best Paul friends needs to be with Steve. will fall Paul apart to get what they want. Kill Chuck. You mean Steve? Ron will kill Steve and Chuck and he'll kill Bob too. Up That's next, okay. so missing Katarina. Stop! So I was wondering if this... Sure. Uh, maybe we could... Yeah. Sorry I'm late. One oh, of my trucks came loose. Your what? My trucks. Oh, alright. Where do you want me? Well, let me introduce you to... Wow! Who are you? Is this cool? I'm Bob. Sure, Bob. Terry told me an actress. I had no idea. She's gorgeous. If I would have known that, I would have time. I would have been so on time. I would have been early. An hour early. Two hours early, and I want to wear better clothes. You look good. You think so? Totally. Thanks. I like a casual look. Suit smile. Anyways, we should get started. Do you got the script, Bob? Ooh, sorry. Forgot it. Do you have an extra? No, actually I don't. Well, that's like yours. So where do you want to start from? Well, I guess we should get warmed up and get focused. I'm good. Skated here. Warm already. Crystal? Yeah, I'm good. Well, let's do it. Alright, well, let's take it from the top then. The cafe scene. Which one's that? The first one. Did you even read the script? Of course. I was up all night, working out my objectives. It's a technical term. Sure is. Alright, let's just set up the scene. Where do you want this? Over here. Isn't that heavy? Not at all. Now what? Uh, Crystal, you can sit here. Bob, you can sit there. Here you go, Crystal. So my character is called Terry. Yes. That's your name. Yes. That's a bit weird, isn't it? The play is autobiographical. I told you that on the phone. Yeah, but I don't think you're supposed to call the character by your actual name. It's kind of weird. Don't you agree, Crystal? Totally. The play is an honest recollection of a real event. By naming the character after me, I'm... Was Crystal's character really called Katarina? Yes. Whoa. Does the real Katarina know? Not yet. But that's... She could, like, sue you or something. The play is what happened. In your opinion... No, it's what happened. From your point of view... It's... 
What do you think, Crystal? I have to say, I do feel a little bit uncomfortable about the character names. In any play, a little dramatic license is taken, and even if the play is based off of real characters, it would still be conventional to change the names. Unless they're called Julius Caesar. <laughs> I don't think that was his real name either. As much as a writer might strive to recreate real life, there's always variations from the actual events in the written work. Well said, Crystal. It's like in that Tennessee Williams play, the one about his sister. Her real name wasn't Blanche Dubois, was it? It was something Williams. I think you mean Laura, and the play was The Glass Menagerie. You get my point, and Crystal clearly agrees. All right, we'll change the names. Great, I'll be Chuck. Chuck's cool. Crystal? Paula. Great, Chuck and Paula. It's better already. Hey, this workshop thing really works out. Okay, so Paula and Chuck are in the cafe. Chuck has been gone, and this is the first time that they've been able to meet up. From the top. Hi, Paula. Stop. What's wrong? Where does it say in the script that he enters with a skateboard? I just came up with it. It's a character detail. I'm not sure it's the right character detail for Chuck. But it doesn't say that he doesn't enter on a skateboard. Can we just do it again, with, but without the skateboard? Hi, Paula. Stop. I thought we said no skateboard. No, we said why wasn't riding it. Carry. Keep going. Hi, Paula. Chuck. You want something to drink? Coffee? Chai? Mm -hmm. Something chilled? No, thanks. Why so serious? Listen, Chuck, this isn't easy to say, so I'm just gonna come out and say it. While you were away, I've been with someone else. Whoa. Bummer. I don't think that's the lie. I was just going with my gut response. It's a very powerful moment for my character. If we could just stick with the script, that'd be great. No problem. Oh. Okay. How many times? Just once. With Tim. Whoa. Bummer. Sorry. There was somebody else? Yes. I've been with him three times. Sorry. But I thought we were... Were we? We never talked about that. Did you think we were? Yes. <laughs> um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Wow. Miscommunication. I just... I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing. It's terrible of me. But you just look so sad. Bummer. You look like you're gonna cry. Are you gonna cry? It's just when you were with Daryl and I was with him and you said you wouldn't sleep with me, although you really wanted to until you broke up with Daryl. So I thought when we got together that... I get cravings. They need to be satisfied. I can satisfy your cravings. Uh-uh. 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 You mean I don't satisfy your cravings? Nope. See, I have a problem with that. I think Chuck definitely satisfies her cravings. Well, so did I, but Cat I mean, Paula said he didn't. What do you think, Crystal? Does Chuck satisfy Paula's cravings? I'm not sure yet. Just keep going. I want to keep seeing them. Both of them? One of them, definitely. The other one, maybe. And me? Uh-uh. But why? I have fun with him. You have fun with me? Uh-uh. She sure says uh-uh a lot. That's because Cat Paula said it a lot. It's not very believable. Believe me, it's real. Yeah, but not everything real is believable on stage. Don't you agree, Crystal? I'm not sure yet. Just keep going. You mean we don't have fun? You're pretty intense. So are you. See, that's the thing. Intense and intense is just too intense. Intense and chilled out is just... Just right. So this guy is chilled out? Very. He doesn't care. Like, at all. But I do? And that's why you're breaking up with me? That's crazy! No, Chuck. It's real. Listen. Do you hear that? What? It's the sound of my heart breaking. Okay, now you really didn't say that. I've got to agree with Bob. The line just doesn't sound credible. That's what I said. No wonder Cat broke up with you. I mean, no wonder Paula broke up with Chuck. Thanks for your feedback, Bob. What do you think, Crystal? Mm. Yeah, I've got to agree with her. Mm. What? He's pretty pathetic. I've got to agree. He's not pathetic. I think he is. He just sits there and takes it. It's drawn from real life. Well, whoever's life it's drawn from must be pretty pathetic. It's drawn from my life. Exactly. Bob, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. What's up, boss? I didn't mind you have the scene, too. What would that be? You didn't read the script, did you? S skimmed it. Alright, well, in scene two, Katarina... You mean Paula? Alright, Paula meets Ron, who recently broke up with Julie, and Paula and Ron discuss strong mutual respect and affection that becomes the basis of a growing relationship that heals both of their wounded hearts. Oh, 
Right. Who's Ron again? The brilliant young director and writer, recovering from a recent breakup, who Paula instantly falls in love with. Still don't get it, do you? Ron. Oh, that Ron. Yeah, that Ron. Right. Well, what about Steve? Who's Steve? The really cool, superbly talented skater dude that Paula meets in scene three. There's no scene three. It's not written yet. I'm the writer. Well, then you haven't written it yet. It's in development. What happens in scene three, the scene I haven't written? Paula meets Steve, who helps her realize that she's in love with him, not Ron. No, I think that you'll find, in fact, that Steve is Chuck, who Paula dumps in scene one. No, Paula dumps Ron for Steve in scene three. After she dumps Chuck. Before she meets Steve. Who doesn't exist. But he will because Paula needs to be with Steve. Paula needs to be with Ron or Ron may kill Chuck. You mean Steve? Ron will kill Steve and Chuck and he'll kill Bob too. So how's it going? Just exploring some far-fetched possibilities. You likely possibilities? Unlikely impossibilities. Certain definites. Indefinite absurdities. Unabsurd definite certain possibilities. Would you like to know what I think? Of course. Sorry. Please tell us. Are you sure? Some writers are really protective of their work. Not Terry. He's open to feedback. So open. In fact, we were just talking about the new scene he's going to write. Well, it's just, the scene was really hard to play. Really? Exactly what I was just saying. The whole thing's very... Forced. Ouch. Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's okay. It's good. It'll make the play better. Well, it's just the character of Chuck. Yeah, he definitely needs some work. He's just so passive. Really? He just sits there and takes it while Paula says all these awful things to him. Exactly. He should say something. He does say something. He says many things. Not say something. Do something. Show us. Don't tell us. Isn't that the way it's meant to be? What was said, Christopher? And what would he do? Um, he could... Kiss her. Kiss her? Yeah, that's good. Show her what she's missing. The fire inside! What do you think, Crystal? I mean, it could be worth a shot. Okay. Let's try it. That's not happening. That's what theater is all about. Exploring possibilities. Yeah. So let's explore. No. Alright, I'll improvise. If the impulse to kiss is there, then you kiss. Otherwise, you don't, okay? Sounds great. Okay with you? Sounds good to me. Then let's go from the top. Remember, only if the impulse is there. And thank you. Hi, Paula. Chuck. You want something to drink? Coffee? Chai? Something cool? No, thanks. Why so serious? Listen, Chuck, this isn't easy to say, so I'm just going to come out and say it. While you were away, I've been with somebody else. That's okay. So was I. Stop! But I felt the impulse. You just sat down. It was very strong. Crystal felt it too. Very strong. It was intense. Overpowering. Maybe if Chuck had just kissed her instead of going on and on, Paula wouldn't have done Chuck doesn't go on and on. He's explaining how he feels. That's not how it sounded. I'm afraid I've got to Crystal and I have been doing some concurring over here if you haven't noticed. What is it about this you two don't get? It's a mirror exercise. By putting a mirror up to nature, you can observe your actions, and then you can learn from them. And not make the same mistake as last time. We get it. Totally. But we're just taking it a step further, showing you what you could have done. It's an improving exercise rather than a reproving exercise. But you don't understand! That's not what happened! Okay, that just got a bit... I think this is all still a bit raw. You need some time to process it. We should just call it a day. And leave you to think about your script. In solitude, while Crystal and I grab a coffee and get to know each other, the people behind the actors. Sounds good. Thanks for the opportunity, Terry, but I think Chuck should be a little bit more like Bob. That way, Paula might like him more. Shall we? Yeah. I'll let you know how scene three turns out. Whoa. Bummer. After Chuck. Before she meets Steve. Who doesn't exist. But he will because Paula needs to be with Steve! 
<laughs> Why'd you feed on me? <laughs> Does this look wide? I don't think your stance matters. <laughs> this is a wide shot. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> What's on your head? <laughs> Are you filming me? <laughs> So let's go to the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, wait, do it again. Stop, stop. <laughs> stop it, Connie. I think it's the sound of my knee. I'm being satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> RJ, what are you doing? <laughs> No, we're not really gonna get it. Drop. You get here at all. Oh, this light didn't go off. Alright, turn off the ball. Done. Whoops. Yep. I'm worried I'm recording. Whose fault is it? <sighs> not mine. You want something to drink? Coffee? Chai? Something chill? No thanks. Why so serious? This isn't easy to say, so I'm just gonna come out and say it. While you were away, I've been with somebody else. That's okay. So was I. No! You told me to do it! <laughs>